Hey everyone, it's Mark Skippermark. So today's video is about locking out the timing on an HEI distributor. A few months ago, Matt rebuilt the engine on his Camaro and the rebuild's done. I'm actually gonna have a video on that soon. I'm just waiting to finalize a couple things. But the he had a little issue with it with the timing. Because it's got a big cam, it needs a lot of initial timing, which means he wants the timing to be advanced at idle and low uh, RPMs. But then as the engine revs up, he doesn't want the timing to advance beyond what it is at idle. So high-end distributors have the capability to lock the timing at a certain setting. Um, this distributor that Matt has doesn't have that capability. So he found a website called Nasty Z28 that explains how to lock the timing and not have it advance as the engine speed advances. So we followed that guide and that's what this video is going to be about. We did find some things that didn't work for us as far as putting screws in and things. So we explained that. Um, but yeah, so I'll post a link to that uh, website in the description so you can go there and follow along if you want to do this too. So if you have any questions about this, um, drop a comment and we'll try to answer them as best we can. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Weird, sounds. You got first take off the spark plug wires off the distributor cap. They're already half off. So. To be honest, we actually took them off and then forgot to hit record on the phone. <laughs> There's a power wire, a wire for the tachometer, and then the other wire for the distributor. Move that to give more room. Is that a vacuum hose or something? Yeah, that's the vacuum hose for the uh, brake booster, for the power brakes. Then there's four little screws that just turn 90 degrees. And it pops the little clips off. Then the whole thing oh, I gotta undo that wire because I left one of the wires on though because it's easier to get when the caps off does that uh, red thing in there actually spin yeah this spins when the engine spins and it touches touches the little thingy, the little point. It's oh wow, not a, so that's It's not spins. a point technically, but it touches that and that fires the spark plug. Oh, so that thing actually must spin fast. Yeah. Huh. Cool. There's a tiny little bolt for the distributor hold down that I gotta loosen and take out. And then that'll make the distributor be able to slide up out. And that's the little hold down. Matt always puts a paper towel in the hole just to prevent anything from dropping in because it's uh, an open hole right into the engine. You can put that on so nothing goes inside. And the same with the uh, air filter. So where is that where you're going to drill somewhere in there? So yeah, you go and you, at least what I found on the uh, internet, <laughs> you drill two holes through the weights here, and then you drill a slightly bigger hole on the outside one, and you can actually stick a screw through it and thread it into here, and it'll keep it from mechanically advancing as the distributor spins faster and faster. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Because yeah, when it spins faster, these move out, and it advances the timing, and then when the engine slows down, those go back in, so it retards the timing. All right, so this is a setup. He's going to um, do it on a pizza box, so it's we're protecting the counter. We're just kind of now figuring out where to... We're marking it with a Sharpie of where to uh, drill, and then he's going to use a punch.
So what the punch does is it puts just a little uh, tiny dent into the metal so that uh, the drill doesn't scoot all around it. It has a, a spot to anchor to and it just makes it drill much easier. I go through both the weight and the backing plate with the small one and then you take the weight off and then drill the drill the weight out with a bigger one and then the screw goes through the weight and actually threads into the backing plate and holds it all should hold it all from, from moving. And do you use a, a sheet metal screw or? Oh, I have these little machine screws, little number six machine screws that they say should thread into a hole drilled by one eighth drill bit almost perfectly. So you don't need to tap it. You can just use one of these and thread it in and it should kind of, should fit pretty good. So one thing you want to do is put paper towels around uh, the distributor so that metal shavings don't get inside. Alright, so the first small hole is done. Matt's using a little magnet to get all the shavings out now. So the website said to take off the weights so that he can drill out the top hole because that's going to be the bigger hole, but he's decided to leave them on and he's just going to be careful not to put too much pressure on this area here so that it, um, you know, he doesn't want to bend anything. So he's just going to leave it on and just drill through it like that and kind of hold it. So it turns out that for us, the uh, machine screw method in the instructions didn't work for us. So we ended up going to Home Depot and picking up a couple sheet metal screws. They're maybe three eighths of an inch long or so. And I drilled the bottom hole the same size as the top. And I don't he, know if you care. Matt drilled the bottom hole the same size as the top hole. Uh, because the bottom hole was just way too small for anything to fit in. So with this sheet metal screw, we put one in one side and it went perfect. So now he's going to put the second screw into the second side. So here they are. They're on. And uh, they stick up a little bit because they're a tapered head. But it shouldn't be a problem. I gotta see if the um, rotor but sits on there. We're going to hope that the rotor sits on there and um, that there isn't an issue. The rotor fits. We have success. Okay, we're putting in the distributor. All right, next is the hold down. Next, you put on the distributor cap. Reattach all your spark plug wires. Put your tiny air cleaner back in. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below and we'll be glad to answer anything that we can. Thanks for watching.